Hello friends, welcome back to another video. <clears throat> Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Hello friends, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be styling some pieces that I've just recently bought from stores like Praying Rabbit and Trip NYC and Demonias. I've been trying to be a bit more ethical with my purchases, but with the way that Depop the prices have been skyrocketing for certain pieces that I like, I've been doing really bad with buying ethical. But anyways, you know, adding a little bit of spice to our wardrobe and how to style things differently you know with skirts and your shoes and your pants adding little things that just make it different so it's not the same repeated outfit over again this video was inspired by ray or as a lot of people know her off of tiktok funky fits i saw her video talking about adding a little bit of spice to your wardrobe i was like you know what i want to do something like that so let's get on with that <laughs> This has been one of my go-to outfits with the plain back sweater and the white pleated skirt, but sometimes to add to that, I sometimes layer a white button up underneath. Now, some button ups have different types of collars. There are these cute lace ones so that you could also spice this outfit up if you'd rather do that than the plain one. And then because I am me and I love chunky shoes, I've added on these seven inch Demonia platform shoes and whew, they are large. <laughs> These shoes make me feel like I'm a freaking model. However, I am a little scared to walk outside in them. If seven inch shoes are a little bit too much, then you could also go with something a little more low key, like the Shaker 72s for example, but if not those, then maybe just plain Vans. Sticking with the button up, you can also layer a cool graphic tee over it. And to match the red on the t-shirt, I've also paired this really cute skirt from Trip NYC. But if you don't have this specific skirt, because of course this is a rare item, you can go with a black skirt that has some cute lace details on it, and maybe you can pair a red tulle or tutu skirt underneath it. And speaking of the skirts to go under it, when it comes to these, you really want to show off the floofiness or the volume of the skirt, so putting something like a tall skirt or a tutu under it really does help that. For the shoes, I've also kept the Shaker 72s on, and this time, to add more white towards the bottom of the outfit, I put on the iGirl stitch socks. But if you don't have those specific socks, you could also do some socks with lace, or even plain white knee-high socks. If you don't really love the white button-up, then you could also go with the t-shirt by itself. And to accessorize, I've added on this really cool Nightmare for Christmas bag. Turning to our 7 inch monsters, I've paired them with another almost all black ensemble. As you can tell, black and white are my favorite colors to play with when it comes to clothing. Here we also have an anti t-shirt with Rihanna chilling there on the front, which the shirt can either be left down or tied up. And underneath that I have on a black high neck long sleeve shirt just to keep me comfortable and warm for this winter. And to go with that, I have on a black pleated skirt. I've been trying to style more t-shirts and pleated skirts into my outfits because I've just been throwing on sweaters and skirts for these past few months just by themselves and I've come to find it boring so this is my version of spice I guess. <laughs> and then once again I've kept the stitch socks on. However, you can also take the shirt off and stick with the plain high neck shirt by itself. This outfit doesn't vary as much as the others, but I can say that going with something like a cool graphic tee instead of a plain back t-shirt, which is something I would have done a while ago, can add spice to your outfit. Plus, adding the fishnet shirt and tying up the shirt can switch it up a bit. For the trip pants, I made sure they went with the t-shirt and as soon as I tried this outfit on, I fell in love with the whole entire thing. I do have to say though that trip pants are definitely different because most physical stores and more known stores don't hold items like these. So these are definitely high up on the list of spicy. <laughs> I have to stop saying that. <laughs> and for the shoes, I went with Demonia Trashville 518s just to give myself a little bit of height since the pants drag on the floor because I'm kind of short. <laughs> but you could also do the stomp tens as well. And that's it for the spicy outfits. I said I was going to stop, but I didn't. Oh well. <laughs> um, although I would, I would say that Praying Rabbit and Trip NYC aren't really that affordable. 
but anyways i still hope you get inspired you don't really have to buy from those brands to add spice to your wardrobe and i don't want you guys to feel pressured at all to feel like you need to buy any of this stuff because you know i get a few comments saying oh i can't afford that and i can't afford this it's okay you don't have to buy from demonias you don't have to buy from trip nyc you don't have to buy these crazy expensive corsets a more affordable option is going to like your local thrift store and searching through those that's where i had how i first started transitioning into my newfound style i didn't straight up just start buying trip nyc pants because oh, those are expensive these are my first trip nyc pants that i'm wearing right now and i'm these are a very prized possession <laughs> but uh, yeah i don't want any of you guys to feel pressured to feel like you need to buy any of this expensive stuff do what you can afford okay thanks for watching see you next week